Hello, it's Vinnie Pierce here from The Committed Crafter and I am going to show you how to use these papers that I've created. Um, I made them because I find that papers are expensive, like ones with pretty patterns on them. This is what they look like, well this is one of them from my naturalist pack. They're called print and paint papers because the idea is to print them and paint them with your with your dyes um, or watercolors or whatever you have on hand. Um, so I laser copied this and these are the tea dyed versions. I just love how they um, how they turned out so much depth when you um, dye it. So I thought I would show you how you can use these papers. You can print them onto colored paper or craft paper. Um, here I've used them on some journals that I've been working on. Uh, they're not finished yet, but I just think they're very effective for covers. Um, not just that. I'll show you what I how I use them. Oh, here we go. They are lovely on vellum too. Um, also, I made these cute little pockets for the journals. They just, they're so cute. So, here they are in a much bigger scale. And this is um, one from my Christmas pack so effective. I'm going to really enjoy painting these soon. Just love this effect. It's made it look really old. So I'm going to get myself ready, I'll get rid of this mat because I don't want it to, to get wet and I'll bring my coloured pencils and all that stuff out. Alright, thought I'll start with this one. So I'll use that and I'll just start. Colouring in. So I just using something like this, which has mica inside of it, which is going to look really, really pretty. Just found this one. Boom. I think I need to highlight this more. I'm kind of getting lost. Alright, I'm going to leave this one to dry and I might do some more work on it. I'll get on to the next one.
Okay, well, the camera ran out of battery, so I was doing everything and it cut off. Um, but that's okay because I can still show you the results. So everything has dried up. Um, I went in and added a little bit more detail um, around here and gave the beetles a bit of um, shadow. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the mica turned out really lovely. Can you see that? Really, really fun to work with, these papers. Um, I'll show you the other one. This one um, is from the Christmas themed pack. And another one from the same pack. There's not much mica on this one. And this one. I love how the spray, the mica spray turned out on this. I'm not sure what I'm going to actually do with it. But I can imagine stitches on here. I might have to do a part two video on how what I'm going to do with these. So um, that's how you can use the print and paint papers. I'm going to be giving away a pack. Check the description below for details on that. Please read the terms of use. Um, you can use these for your personal and commercial use products as long as they are handcrafted commercial use products. Um, so yeah, also um, I have a design team call out right now. Um, so if you are crafty and you love junk journaling and experimenting with paints and all sorts of crafts and you know how to use a computer and or you know how to use a printer um, then also see the description below all right well thank you so much guys for watching um, I hope you're inspired I better go and wipe the ink off my colored pencils now and my son's gonna be horrified with everything out of order all right, take care, guys. Bye.